Hi friends, this is Dr. Vinay Kumar. Today I would like to tell you a story. A story out of which we are going to get a message, a very good message. Once in a, li- in a village lived a businessman and his son. They were not very rich, an average businessman. He struggled to make both ends meet. He did a small business and he managed both the lives. But he thought that it was not sufficient. It's not enough to go forward in his life. So he wanted his son also to get involved in the business. He asked his son to come to the business so that he he will be able to learn and then help his father to do the business in a better way. But the son was not interested at all. He He didn't know what business was. He didn't know what to do, when to do and how to do. The father was a bit disappointed. So he started thinking what to do to make the son get involved in his business. So one day he called his son and told, son, it's high time that you knew how to do the business. You have to get involved in this business. But as you don't know the business, you better go to the town. There's a famous businessman, Mr. Ram Singh. Be with him for a few days. Learn what business is. He will definitely teach you because I know him for some years and he is, a, he is the right person to teach you what business is. So go to that place, go to the town, meet him, request him to teach you business and be there for some days. And then when you come back, I'm sure you will be a good businessman. You will be able to help me also. The son was very happy because he can escape from that place. He thought the father will not be forcing him to do the business. And so he was very happy to go. He packed all the things. He prepared to stay uh, in the town for a couple of days. That's what the father told him. He may, he might have to stay there for a couple of days. So he took uh, some cash with him, some money with him and enough dresses and all the things required to stay out, outside for about a couple of days. And then he started his journey. The journey was a difficult one. It took about a couple of days for him to reach the town. But once he reached the town, it was very easy for him to find out the house of Ram Singh because he was a very famous businessman there, a very successful, rich businessman. So he found out that house. Ram Singh's house was located on a small hilltop. It was a small hillock. And on top of that one, there was a beautiful bungalow uh, inside a very big compound. It's a, it was a palatial building actually. So uh, this uh, son went to that house. He wanted to meet Ram Singh, but he was surprised to see the big bungalow with a, with a uh, very high compound walls and inside uh, many gardens and uh, swimming pool and whatnot. The nature was, was at its best there. And again, he, he had a surprise because there were a lot of people waiting to meet Ram Singh because they wanted to get advice from Ram Singh. So many people were waiting. The son also waited for his turn to meet Ram Singh. And uh, one hour, two hours, about three hours after that, he was able to meet Ram Singh. Again, there was a surprise waiting for him. He was expecting a very old man with a white beard uh, uh, who would be giving him advice but to his surprise that was a middle-aged person and he was just sitting there meeting people and then talking to them so when the son's turn came he went near Ram Singh wished him and told him all the things about why he came and all those so Ram Singh told "Uh, you see I'm really very busy now I don't think I'll be able to meet you for one or two hours time. So why don't you just, uh, why don't you just go around this bungalow and see the beauty of this bungalow. It's a lovely bungalow with a a nice garden and all those things. Why don't you just walk around and uh, see all those things and then come back. Um, Son was very happy because um, I told you the nature was at its best there. And so he wanted to go. Immediately, Ramji called him. But one thing, please come back. Take this also with you. 
he handed over a spoon to the son uh, he took the spoon and ram singh poured little bit of oil in the spoon and ram singh told you walk around but be careful that you hold the spoon in your hands and don't drop even a single drop of oil down anywhere else be careful with this oil telling that ram singh went inside and this boy took the spoon in his hand and then started walking around and it was as i told you it was a very big place so it took a lot of time for him to go around watch everything and then come back it took nearly 3 hours time and everything he finished covering everything with his uh, with the spoon in his hand and then came back after 3 hours ram singh was uh, sitting on a chair so he asked him oh uh um, did you see the bungalow completely did you go around so the son told yes i went around and then ram singh asked did you see all the beautiful garden did you see the park specially made by 100 workers did you see the beautiful swimming pool did you see another wading pool where uh, white swans were swimming the lovely ducks the la- the lovebirds chirping inside a big netted cage and some pet animals beautiful flowers lovely different colored flowers did you did you watch all those things so this boy told i'm sorry sir i didn't watch any of the, those things i just walked around and i was very conscious about the spoon and the oil in the spoon You told me not to drop this oil so I was very careful not to drop even a single drop of oil so I was very careful concentrating on my spoon Then he told him okay do one thing I want you to watch I want you to see all the beauty inside my bungalow inside and outside my bungalow That's the best thing that I could uh, show you and so once again go around this time watch all the things and let the spoon be with you the spoon of oil be with you keep it with you once again go around and then come back after seeing all the things all the beauty so the sun went again he he took another 2 hours or 3 hours came back ram singh was talking to some some people there when his turn came again this boy came and he told that here i am So Ram Singh asked, "Did you see the garden?" He said, "Yes, lovely garden. What about the flowers in the garden? Different colored f- flowers." The boy said, "Yes, it's lovely. It's marvelous. Pretty, very pretty flowers. Different colors. And did you see the pond? And did you see the white swans playing and wading in the pool?" He said, "Yes, I saw everything." everything is lovely and from the compound wall i watched outside the nature also that also is really beautiful i could watch everything very nice view and inside the compound nice things very very nice things i think you have all the best things in the world and ram singh said yes i do have and i told you to go around and see and i also told you to take care of the oil in the spoon let me see that oil and the boy looked at the spoon and unfortunately the oil was not there he had dropped all the oil while watching the beauty of the bungalow then he said i'm sorry sir this time i was not concentrating on this oil i was not concentrating on the spoon i just held it in my hand that's all but i was very 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 uh, very much concentrating to see and watch the beauty of your bungalow inside and outside i was very much concentrating on that because i knew that when i come back you will be asking me a lot of questions about this so i was very careful to observe things outside and ram singh said it's very nice that you observe things as i told you you observed all the things but i had also told you to take care of the oil in the spoon 
and then ram singh said this is life this is business you should keep your eyes and ears open every time unless you do that you will not be able to do business you can do business but if you want to do successful business you have to keep your eyes and ears open you have to observe watch enjoy the beauty of outside at the same time you will have to take care of the oil in the spoon also the boy started thinking yes i have to concentrate on two three things together only then i'll be able to do the business it's not that if i'm taking care of one particular thing i have to concentrate only on that forgetting about all the other things surrounded uh, surrounding that it's not like that i <coughs> sorry i have to keep my eyes and ears open every time and that is business he learned a good lesson and thanked ram singh and came back and naturally the rest of the story we can guess he must have helped his father in the business and he must have definitely developed the business of his father who knows he must be a business tycoon now we don't know but friends this is what we need for anything to be a successful ending you have to keep your eyes and ears open every time it's not that if you are just uh, concentrating on one thing take care of only that thing no there are a lot of thing happening around us so take care of each and every minute things which may help you to be a successful person in this world all the very best of luck to all of you keep watching my video and give me the feedback too and don't forget to click the like button share if you want to your friends and most of all subscribe to my video channel so that you will be able to see the rest of my videos also see you again soon till then take care